at Facebook. Our engineers ship thousands of code changes to our code bases every day. These changes bring us new features like Instagram Stories and Facebook Live. When we plan the capacity in our data centers, the capacity engineering team estimates the growth in additional resources we will need due to the new features we roll out. But sometimes things do not go exactly according to plan. Even the most innocent looking code change can end up using more resources than we thought it would. This is what's called an efficiency regression. Over time, these small regressions can add up and that can degrade our user experience and just generally make it harder to improve the site and ship new products. Because of that, we needed a real-time detection system that will assist our site efficiency engineering teams in identifying and rolling back these regressions. Using our state-of-the-art distributed computing infrastructure FB Learner, we scan hundreds of thousands of time series for various efficiency metrics across all of Facebook services, and this happens several times a day. When this system detects an efficiency regression, it creates an internal task for our engineers to analyze. These tasks contain information on potential root causes and what actions our engineers might need to take to remediate the regression. Catching these efficiency regressions at Facebook's scale is very hard. We have hundreds of thousands of time series to monitor and typically only a small handful of them have a regression. So this task basically amounts to looking for a needle in a haystack. What makes things even more difficult is how broad and diverse the characteristics of these time series are. They have different scales, seasonal behaviors, and variance patterns. To work around these challenges, we leverage principles at the intersection of signal processing and statistical modeling to normalize the time series, which allows us to make even comparisons. Another wrinkle is that a regression can have ripple effects and show up in multiple functions. So we also group together these change points based on stack trace data and attribute one of them as the root cause. One of the other exciting aspects of this project was a real cross-functional collaboration between engineers and data scientists. Working together, we built a system that is serving as the first line of defense against efficiency regressions at Facebook. And ultimately, efficiency is what allows us to scale and connect more people.